DD. Welcome to my home under the Tuscan sun. Why is it so loud outside? Come on in. Hey, this kitchen is very interesting. As you can see here, I have an oven. And it opens up like this. I have a little bit of counter space and a dishwasher. And I decided for the feng shui of the room to also have my dish, my clothing washer here as well. A sink full of um, dishes because um, I don't have any soap right now, but that's fine. And we have this little fridge here with some pasta. Just the, you know, oh, this is a smoothie. This is uh, the Italian version of a smoothie baby food. So I'm gonna eat this right now. Did you know that eating a lot of carrot, the ADD is jumping out. Eating a lot of carrots gives you a healthy glow. Fabulous. Um, here we have some art by a local artist. I don't know who she is. Um, I have a hat here as well. Um, <laughs> beautiful art and plate plates here. Beautiful plates. I have a bowl. Bowl full of lemon. Oh, this is a little um, molded. Can I juggle? Let's throw that moldy one right out there. Um, this table I love because it's very welcoming. This wood is actually from an old abandoned ship. It's called Noah's Ark. We have this imported. It's fabulous. Very sturdy. You can sit here and think of... It's actually not very sturdy at all. I'm a very heavy, heavy man. Um, I have a little couch here that I like to sit, sit down. A couch in the kitchen is sublime. And if you don't have one, you're sick. I sit here and I drink my smoothie. This is like my little smoothie couch. Mm. The beams here are also from the Salem Witch Trial, where they hung many witches. Um, and this was just my way to pay it forward and pay my respects by having the wood from the fire that burned them. Yes. I have my cauldron here as well to brew potions and such and things. Um, some fresh eggs. Love eggs, love a good fresh egg. And that's the kitchen really, it's, a, it's very um, open concept, mismatch antique, that is the vibe of this farmhouse that was built in the 1800s. Come on into the east wing of the home. I have a collection of purses. Um, I love this one, I got this in Florence recently, it's one of a kind, I, as I was told, and then I was walking around Florence and it was on every corner, but to me, it, oh my god, my favorite purse. This one, it holds everything that I need. It holds my hopes and dreams, and look at that. It's all you need, fabulous. We have a little, one, uh, this one from Banana Republic, love this one, a vintage Junium Burke, fabulous. Uh, what else do I have here? I got another pointless bag here, a tote bag. Here I have a light that is from Queen Victoria herself. She passed it down from generation to generation and landed in my family. I have some products, some sun, I love sunscreen. I love to apply it. I actually forget to apply it most days. Hairspray, some glowing, what is this? This is a set. Did somebody from set bring this in? Cause I didn't buy this. Okay, let's go to the bathroom, shall we? This is where the magic happens. And by magic, I mean IBS. So, come on in, there's room for one, actually. I, I love feng shui. I wanted the shower in the middle of the room, and I wanted the toilet, as you can see, come on, there's plenty of room back here to hang out. I wanted the toilet here, so, my knees hit the shower when I'm heat, so. And you can have your smoothie here as well. There's also a bidet that I don't fit in. The shower, however, is extremely roomy. Let's just pop in here. So roomy. It's fabulous. It's almost like you're in an airplane and I do love to travel.
I do love skincare products, if you couldn't tell. So these are just an assortment selection. I have all my beautiful drunk Oliver products, IS Clinical, some olive oil from the islands of Greece that I'm actually allergic to, but it smells so good. I use it in my hair and not my skin. Um, this is my favorite fragrance right now. I've gotten many compliments on it. A Jean Bronze by Carez. Let's have a spritz. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the dressing room. I love to have a dressing room. I like to come in here and try on my clothes that don't fit and have mental breakdowns. I look in the mirror right here, the reflection, and I say, Wow, you are large. You're a large man. Clothes are strewn about because I have a mental breakdown every time I try on something. Um, here I have electronics, batteries, headphones, shoes, shoes. I have plenty of shoes. Um, if you need a pair of shoes, I have some. Also, this hat makes me look like a train conductor, but it is. You know what? I think it kind of goes with the outfit. That's a bag. Hey, I feel like a newsie! You need a newspaper! Five cents! Twenty cents! Um, in this room here, I have a- there's a guest room. For the guests that I, um, that will probably not travel 6,000 miles from the United States to visit me. But, it's always nice to have a guest room just in case. I want to pretend. Here, uh, is truly where None of the magic happens because this bed is the most... I, I have broken my back for the past week living here so far. It's so hard. Um, it's awful and I can't stand it. You can hear the coils! Um, but this room is quite lovely. The lime wash is stunning. There's uh, vintage art everywhere. Um, I don't like many bulbs to work in my home. I prefer a vibratio, as the Italians say, a vibration, <laughs> a vibe. And um, you know what? Honestly, two is too many. Ow! That's fabulous. Much better in here. Yes. I also have a satchel of lavender above my bed, because if you don't sleep with lavender above your bed, you're not living. Welcome to the veranda. I like to sit here. I prefer my furniture to be weak. Weak and thin. It barely holds my weight, honey, but it's fa actually this is a vintage Hollister chair made from Hollister Surf Company, as you can tell by the detail of the seagulls flying, which the seagulls are native to Italy, actually. It was um, discovered thousands, thousands of years ago that the seagulls were born in Italy and came to America by um, Christopher Columbus, I believe, yes. Yes, I'm not sure. Before, that was before he um, stole and massacred people. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's go down to the garden. We don't go in that room. Here I have, as you can tell, the west wing of the estate. It's an apartment. There's a little old woman who lives in there, but she's locked herself in. I can't get her out. She has squatter's rights. So, no, no, we love you. Call me if you need any water. We have another little sitting area here, of course, in case I want to change my mind. I want to move from the up to the down. And yeah, this view is fabulous. And then over here, we have another sitting area, just in case. Just in case I don't like there, or the number two, I can also sit here. This is, this is normally laying flat. Ooh, we need to wash that. Yes. It's gorgeous. Beauty. All of this flown in from Iceland. It's actually volcanic rock from the mountains of Iceland, and it's very expensive. This is my barn and my work, my workhouse. I, so I have this fan here, and I, on hot days, it's nice to just come out here outside, and I think this is the best thing. The best thing to do during the day is to just. I love to putter. Here we make wine. I collect sticks as well. I just a cod another cauldron. This one was passed down from my family generationally. Just 
things. Things, so many things to do here. Let's go to the backyard. Rocks. I have so many rocks on the property. These are 10,000 year old rocks from the Tower of Babel. They used also these to build the pyramids of Giza as well, but they were extra, so they shipped them here. And now I have a selection in case I have any other projects, things that I need to do around my property. Um, let's go to my, um, my barn. The animals are in for the night, unfortunately, but as you can see, I did decorate with flowers. Let me check if they're sleeping. You know what? They, they prefer not to. They prefer not to be seen right now. Let's go to the backyard where we have four acres of property. As you can see, I've been very hard at work, chopping down trees, clearing things. I like to clear. Sometimes we just wave this and get the energy out to the windows walls. So as you can see, this is the property. I love to sit, sit down and stroll and just um, have a lovely time and just, um, just sunbathing really. Oh, that's, the prickers are a natural, um, they rid the body of bad toxins. So peaceful here. I love, I love my acreage. I like to just sit and enjoy the acreage. It's quite nice, yes. Ah! That dog has been getting on my nerves for the past four hours. He has a vendetta out for me. Well, how are we feeling? Thanks for coming by. It's been fabulous. Comment down below, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao! I gotta get back to LA.